Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Madeline. Uh, my most recent video, which is already posted, is of my birthday vlog. Last month, it was the beginning of the year. It was also my birthday at the end of the month, and it was Valentine's Day. You guys really loved my A Perfect Student Guide, and I'm really happy that a lot of you guys enjoyed it because I did put a lot of effort and I did put a lot of thought into it, and I have been doing that with most of my videos just because I feel like I want to give you guys the best quality content, I want to give you guys the best videos, and I want to be more natural and just real with you guys in that sense. So, diving into this this video I do want to say a disclaimer in no way shape or form am I trying to brag at all I'm simply just following within the trend of like your birthday birthday vlog and then like a birthday haul uh, I will say it is like a birthday slash clothing haul I know I didn't exactly say that in the title but and before I forget if you guys haven't already I highly suggest that you hit that red subscribe button at the bottom also I know some of you guys have been commenting in the community section of things that you would like to see and products that you'd like me to review please leave that down there below I have been creating a list I recently did a review on the it's cosmetics cc concealer bye bye under eyes this comment under one of my videos let's get into this I was debating if I wanted to say who they were from. For right now, I'm going to keep it on the DL. First gift. Kind of got smushed, but look. My cousin works at Starbucks. When I was younger, it's kind of funny, the little history behind it. My favorite color was purple. And so she got me a purple, I think it's like iridescent bottle. I think it's super cute just because it's a little pop of color. Super cute, right? And of course, she has to keep it cutie. She got a matching little keychain slash ornament. And it's literally the exact same thing. So this is the big size. And then I have a miniature one that I can put on like my keychain. Super cute, right? Oh, she also got me very funny Madeline cakes. And if you guys don't get the joke, my name's Madeline. These are Madelines, right? Like the cookie. Knee slapper. I will say if you haven't tried Madeline's, I highly suggest that you do. They're really good. I actually know if you live in the U.S., a store called Vons. Vons is like your normal grocery store, but they have a like a brownie and a Madeline kind of mesh cookie like together, and it's so good. So this one I absolutely adore. Julia actually knows, but Julia didn't get me this, but a cutie patootie friend of mine did. I won't mention their name. On that note, I have been wanting like a really fluffy kind of plush pillowy looking bag. Of course, either black, white, or gray. I think it's really funny when somebody can guess what I want. So my friend got me the cutest little black bag. I think this is perfect. It's also the plush. It is so soft and you have a ton of room in there. So I have a zip which I could put like money or on my wallet. It's like a big pocket inside as well as these two other compartments and it's super soft. Texture wise it's not soft like fluffy. It's soft like leather. I'm thinking I can use this as like a Aaron kind of bag and I love that the straps are nice and thick so I can also put it on my shoulder that super cute and i think it's just essential that individual did give me some snacks in the bag which i thought was super cute next so i thought this was pretty cute and very creative this is the gift box but i think it's kind of cute so she put it in a little converse box you know she got me some Sour Patch Kids the watermelon ones which i think are so good i love to take this to the movies with me and then sometimes just a snack on next thing she got me was this rose glow amber candle so as you guys know, Rose is my middle name, so hence why I think everyone was being really funny, like with the Madeline cookies and a rose candle, rose scented candle for that matter. And then lastly, I absolutely, absolutely love Tree Hut sugar scrubs just because I have strawberry legs every time that I shave my legs, so I really, really need to exfoliate. Peach Sorbet, super excited to use that. Next, I am going to share a little background on this gift. I want to share it. So Julia got me the Bath and Body Works set into the night and I know why she did this because it was with theme. Everyone like I said is super creative. I actually very much love this scent. So she got me the lotions like a matching set and the perfume. Next also from Jules. So the week before my birthday I went to go pick up some new jeans but Julia also got me these little rings from H&M. You guys can see they're just silver rings. I've been loving the new trend of just wearing like jewelry on your fingers. This one is actually my best friend ring right here. So this one is the one that me and Julia have. They are matching best friend rings, which is why I'm going to introduce the next gift. She also got me another little gift, another candle, Calming Waves. She also got me a towel for your hair. It's like one to air dry and then one to kind of have it sit like the microfiber towels, which I've been wanting for a very long time that I've used that. I don't have it with me, but it's like a really pretty teal. So it has like an actual towel just to dry your hair, like a loose one. She also got me this. It's the Tada Natural Beauty. It's a wooden shampoo scalp brush, but I have talked about this quite a lot. It is that one of the pieces of jewelry that I dream to have one day is a tennis bracelet. And I'm kind 
kind of just waiting on it for like that perfect time when I'm at that point in my career where I can get one and I can afford one on my own. But as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, me and Jules have best friend rings that we've had for like three years now. And I actually got these. This is the wishbone ring from Pandora. So in return, she had this like hidden. She got me a tennis bracelet. The best part about it all is that she has a matching one. And what I love about this bracelet in specific is that I have expressed to her, and this is how I know people listen, I didn't want the back of the bracelet to have the string. I wanted it to be a clip. Don't know how she found it, don't know how she did it, but she found one. And although, here, let me disclaimer, it's it's not a real tennis bracelet before somebody tries to comment and say like, that's not a real one. It's real to me. And not only that, but it just goes to show how real our friendship is and how valued and important it is. So she has has a matching bracelet with me. So we not only have a matching ring now, but we have a matching bracelet. So I feel like we just like upgraded. And last thing, I have house slippers because we don't generally keep the heater on. And if we do, we really can't feel the difference. I've been told from a lot of people that come over to my house that I have like the coldest house known even in the summer. My house is always super cold, which I'm gonna take as a compliment because I feel like in the summertime, like no one wants to be in a hot house. My old little house slippers were really beat up and I've been seeing this trend of with the smiley face slippers well julia was so sweet she was like i saw your little house slippers now that she was wearing shade because in no way she performed was she but she was kind of just like i've been wanting to buy you them how adorable and it has a little sleeping set so these are the slippers they have little smiley faces it's a small first off the reason why i say it took me by surprise is because i had no idea that i was going to get this this is from my other best friend samiko she always knows how to surprise me every time never fails so on the actual day Samiko had came early and she was like I'm gonna bring you your gift like I just want to kind of come early so I can get ready there so I was like yeah of course you know how it is you get ready with your girlfriend she comes out of the car and hold on so this one is from Samiko I literally looked at her too like what it was uh, tied really nicely so I tried to copy it but it was in this box I just love the packaging. I think it's like adorable. As you can see, I opened it already. Once more, I've never had it come with a bag other than when it was like from Dior. It had like a little silk bag, but it has its own little silk bag that keep the bag in. But wait till you see the bag. Wait till you see the bag that she got me. This is the Willow tote bag. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, this is a very popular purse. It, I mean, it was very trendy at one point. I have been wanting this for as long as I've known. And I've actually had my little black coach purse for quite a while. She's been with me since I was like 16. So quite a long time. She's reaching maybe the end of her life, but I don't think so because I'm going to run her for her money. Seven years strong. We're going to keep pushing for another three. But just look at this beauty. So it has a little clip right here so you can open it where the C is. The inside has so much room. It has several compartments. So I have one compartment here. I have another here. I have a little zipper right here with other compartments inside. It also comes with a strap. So maybe if you're not somebody that likes to have like a purse more like a clutch, it does come with two different kinds of belts. So this is thicker and it's much longer, which I do love and adore just in case I want to have it a little bit lower. And then it also has a second, has a second belt, a little shorter, so more like a purse or like a handbag where you hold it. It's shorter, it's thicker right here like that. So it comes with two different belts. Super cute. And you can adjust it even at that point or, and now you can put it around right here and it's longer. Obsessed. I love that it has like a secret compartment. In my other black coach purse, I have that as well, which I absolutely love. She also gave me a little card. Literally the sweetest card. Everyone's cards made me cry. Jules and Samiko's made me cry even more just because of the words that they've said. So that is actually it for my birthday haul. Thank you to every single person, every single one of you guys that said happy birthday and that were just there to spend my birthday with me. People that I did not mention in this video and the people that I have know that I love you guys so much and I am extremely grateful for every each one of you. I truly mean that from the bottom of my heart. Love you guys to the moon and back. Okay, so I... <laughs>
I can't with myself sometimes. So I recorded this video originally on a different day, hence why I have a similar outfit, different makeup, different hair. <laughs> we're just gonna dive into it because I was like, girl, how are you gonna record one part of the video and not the second? So we're gonna quickly do the second part. Am I wearing the same shirt? Yeah, I am. It's really comfy. It's actually one of the shirts that I got, which I wanted to share. Before I get started, let me just say by me creating this video in no way, shape, or form, again, am I trying to brag? I needed new clothes. So I may have mentioned this on my podcast as well as my other videos in the past and even this year, your girl has gained a little bit of weight and that's completely normal. Normalize gaining weight because as soon as I hit my 20s, it was like into my woman body, okay? We are maturing, that is okay. Your body changes and if your body's going through some changes right now, let it happen, babe, let it happen. I have been struggling with my weight for a very long time. Like it's been like this, no joke. I have fluctuated like crazy and I don't know what it is. Up until this point, I was like, okay, old clothes gotta go i need some more clothes because i was very much i love to show my curves which i still bought clothes that can still do that but you know i'm short and for reference if you guys don't know i'm five feet i don't know <laughs> i don't know if that helps but i do feel like for myself because i am a little bit shorter a lot of the times weight sticks on me a lot more than me being a little bit taller like my sister not body shaming myself in any way by all means but she's just tall and she's built so nicely like i tell her all the time i was like you have a cute little body you know i'm the short one in the family the oldest is the short one right so my body has been going through up and down um just weight fluctuating actually in my previous video i went to abercrombie and fitch i got some new jeans now shout out to abercrombie for having thick girl curvy big booty friendly jeans i legit was so happy to get these in the mail like legit so incredibly happy i originally had bought some jeans from abercrombie and fitch now i do understand they are a little bit more costly however i do feel like i'm at an age where i need to start investing in my clothing as far as just things quality over quantity we cannot continue to buy things that we know are gonna wear and tear especially for me my body's built like a little bit of like a pear shape so my thighs comment down below if you're somebody like this or you know like this video i have little thunder thighs okay they rub together and i get holes in my pants so I do need really good quality like pants. So these are the 90s straight ultra high rise jeans. Gold. Okay. Now they fit like a glove. They are a little bit thicker. Um, I do kind of like the style of like not having an actual tag. Of course, at one point I used to love having it to kind of show off, you know, Abercrombie Fitch jeans or Levi's or Hollister, you know. This time around, I'm like, I can live without it. I love that kind of, I don't know, it gives me more of a vintage type look. These are a light wash. They are wide leg. They are intended to be great for boots or like thicker shoes. So that's something that I love. I do love a good little cuff around the foot like my slippers or my shoes like i like for it to go over my shoe that's kind of just like my little style it gives me more of like a little dainty feel to it and they are a little baggy i had to go a size up because the jeans that i originally had got last year in april less than a year ago don't fit me as much they're a little snug so i decided to go up and mind you styles do change sizes and whatnot but these are super comfortable i love that the waist is enough room so when i'm bloated i don't feel as stuck or stiff so i'm super excited about these i will say as well like the material itself is great my other jeans stretch these ones do as well they stretch just a little bit so if i do end up gaining a little bit more weight or i do end up getting a little bit more bloated on a certain day i have the wiggle room i got this in the curb love the curb love for my girls that are a little bit thicker like bottom heavy like myself get the curb love jeans always at upper chromium fitch i promise you you won't regret it the booty's gonna be looking nice and plumpy i promise you that like like abercrombie and fitch jeans have always been that girl these are the light wash jeans next pair i got a second pair oh and let me say this i actually got these pants on sale because i had a birthday code these ones are so freaking cute they just give me the vintage feel now these ones are the loose high rise as well they are not the curve love i didn't look at that when i bought them but they are so freaking cute like they are like that denim wash and they're not distressed i decided not to get any of my jeans distressed this time around maybe little holes here and there but not completely distressed i don't want to constantly have to buy jeans did i pay that no these ones were 89 that's still like 200 dollars, right maybe you're like dang girl like you got like that i do not have it like that no these were actually on sale if you're gonna buy jeans at abercrombie if you're gonna buy jeans from a and i highly highly suggest that you do it in the sales or the clearance they are pretty expensive but again ladies and gentlemen quality over quantity i'm not saying buy these full price unless you really want the style wait for the sales because that's what your girl did wait for the sales 
I actually had my 25% birthday off as well as my $10 off because I've been a loyal member. Shout out to Abercrombie. These two jeans would have came out to $200 just alone for these two for these two pairs. But I didn't pay that much. I actually ended up paying 78 bucks. Yeah. Your girl is budget friendly. If you guys would like a video on how I constantly save money on all my clothes, let me know. Next, I also got some new clothing, right? Because we are stepping into a new year. I just turned 23. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like as in a young adult now, like, like, I just, I need to dress a certain kind of way. I don't need to, but I would like to. So actually, right behind me, I got a couple things from Pretty Little Thing. Pretty Little Thing, notice me, please. Ew, begging is not cute, babe. <laughs> Honestly, and quite frankly, I do want to say this from the bottom of my heart. Pretty Little Thing always has hit for me, depending on like your styles, but they have a wide range of clothing that I highly, highly recommend. So for this, I decided to get a basic kind of light gray so crew neck sweater. It's literally like a basic jacket sweater. I've actually been wearing it for a couple days now just because it got really cold. But girl, when I tell you the inside is soft, look at this, soft. I realized I don't own any gray sweaters. So I was like, okay. And it's funny because I had this conversation with Julia on the week of my birthday, how I wanted to get a gray, like I, I started wanting to get sets. I think sets are just so much easier. I am too indecisive to figure out what I want to wear. On the topic of sets, I actually got a set from Pretty Little Thing. This is the Pretty Little Thing. It's like a shirt and it came with these wide leg sweatpants. Um, I've been wanting to transition to wide leg sweatpants because I do, like I said, I like that long fitted look. So this is a fitted t-shirt. It's this little peel tee right here. It's like a sage colored shirt. I do feel like I should have gone up in size. I got these sweats. So these are the, they like the tie. Um, I'm not a fan of this kind, right? But I figure it will look pretty cute. This is the olive washed oversized low rise wide leg joggers so i didn't even know this was low rise and i'm wearing it as a high rise because the girl's a little short again wide leg bottoms stretchy soft in the inside it's like that heavy weight kind of feel i feel like this is great because you can still look snatched with a little two set piece now again i live in la so i don't get all four seasons it's pretty much sunny and when it rains it rains so yes this is the set you can see has pockets it also has that identical plt print on the side as i've said before i am bottom heavy Heavy. So my body is built more like a pear shape So a lot of the times it's really hard to find sets that fit both the top and the bottom because it's either the top fits really nicely But that bottom is really small or the bottom is fits nicely and vice versa The top doesn't fit because it's really big, you know, these are the wide leg petite Keyword petite bold flared trousers yoga pants. So these actually have an elastic inside to hug you I think I like that the top hugs myself. It hugs me stretchy, but you can't pull it up so i would say be careful with your sizing because of where it's knitted overall i would say it's a pretty great deal again i got this on promotion you can't go wrong with the little light gray yoga pants especially just a lounge wear you can wear this going grocery shopping maybe you're at university maybe you're allowed to wear this at your job wear it i got a matching pair in black as well on to the next this is going to be my last piece of clothing oh yes i'm actually wearing the shirt right now this is from hollister um it is super cute it is a stretchy little piece i got this in a medium i mean how many of us have gone into a store looked at an outfit or even thought of an outfit the night before you put it on and then you're like yeah i look like shit or this is not hidden you know what i mean like i will erase that from my brain but it's like i will want it to work that i will keep trying and trying and trying i will say oh it's because i don't have my makeup done oh it's because my hair is not done oh it's because i have a chair like girl it just don't compliment you i say this to myself not to you to myself because i have realized in the past that i've been wanting to make things work and it just it doesn't happen it doesn't happen that's okay i also went to hollister shout out to hollister for being so kind yeah <laughs> fun fact i actually used to work for hollister yeah no i don't have anything bad to say i honestly just really loved working there I, like as a teenager i was like girl yes i get the triple a's i get the discount like it was actually a really fun like first job if i'm being honest the company was really cool on that note did get a couple pieces again i was focused on the sets the solids finding things that were comfy some of the loungewear that i've seen all over like websites and social media they aren't as curvy girl friendly or appropriate to the point where i feel like i could wear it like i would probably only wear it never maybe for a quick 
quick photo at most, but it's not something I would realistically wear. So since it's been a while that I walked into a Hollister store, I was kind of skimming around, trying to find things that might fit me, that I might like. They were on the clearance and I thought how freaking cute. There was this cute little knit beach dress that I really loved, but it was really snug. So I was kind of bummed out that it did not fit. But look, these are just like a little loungewear. I am not gonna lie, I might cut this bottom part off, but it's like a wide leg. But I could absolutely wear this when I'm recording or if I am doing something else. Like it's something I can see myself wear more than once. I got this in a large. This, I feel like just having like this little fluffy piece, even just to chill. I feel like it's just a must. So I got that shirt, these pants. I mean, you can't go wrong with a little fluffy set. It reminded me of your mom made it. If you guys aren't familiar with that website or that brand, they had this like teddy looking Sherpa material and it was $150. I think I saw it on, I don't know if her name is Riley, but she had worn it and I thought it was so freaking cute. The last piece that I got was this sweater. I got it in white. I wanted to get it in black black too but i'm gonna have to get into black now it's really like really basic well there is a logo on the sleeve i don't know if you can see but yeah, it's just like a basic little hoodie. I think it'd look really cute with the jeans too and like my little Uggs. Again, basic items. We weren't going crazy. I really didn't spend my own money and most of the time I wait for sales deals. So my birthday was last month and I get a bunch of emails. Guys, if you get emails, I know it's annoying and it's tedious, but honestly use it because you are saving money. And when you get money for your birthday or those gift cards, like use them. Don't use your own personal money that you make. You just feel better. Lastly, this is non clothes so let me just say that Sephora yes girl I did I did I did I just had to of course starting off with the first one I had to stock up on my Dr. Dennis gross pads they're the extra strength daily peel if you guys haven't tried this I recommend getting this size you don't have to get the big one try 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 products on the back of your hand before you put it on your face every time so you don't have an allergic reaction I cannot stress that enough next thing I got was the happy birthday anniversary little gift you know I had to stick it with you to the people if you guys don't know this is actually one of my favorite favorite skincare brands from Sephora I mean, look how cute this is. I think this is one of the reasons why I really love Sephora is because of their little birthday gifts. They just never miss. And inside, I have my favorite cleanser of all time. If you guys haven't tried this, give it a try. I have nothing but great things to say about this. I used to use this all through last year. Second, I got the, which I haven't tried, is the Superfood Air Whip Moisturizing Cream. So I haven't tried this personally. I have heard really good things about it, so I'm super excited. This is the Super Berry Hydrate Glow Dream Mask. And if you haven't tried Youths of the People, I highly, highly recommend you do because what are you doing? You're sleeping on a really great skincare product. Totally kidding. <laughs> try it if you would like i personally really love it and again i have nothing but great things to say about them no this video is not a promotion before anybody shows me like she's promoting it no when i go out of my way to mention that a product is really good it just goes with saying that that's how good it really is again use of the people not my nails looking naked don't look at my nails i need i can't do this anymore okay moving on so I also decided to invest in my hair care. As I mentioned before, my hair care has been my main focus. My curls didn't even stay. What the poo? Like, look at this. Why the hell did I spend an hour curling my hair? I don't know if it's the hairspray that I'm using or what. It's lightweight coverage. Okay, that could be why. Should have bought a hairspray. Anyways, moving on, I got the WOW products. First off, let me just say, I love their product. This is the WOW Color WOW Raise the Root Thicken and Lifting Spray. Use on dry hair to instantly lift and shape. Let's see. Don't know if I'm doing this right. I mean, if a lifted, um, for anybody that is in cosmetology school or knows how to do hair, please leave me a tip on how I can fix my dull hair. That would be amazing. I also got the Color Wow One Minute Transformation Styling Cream. It instantly re-moisturizes and eliminates frizz. I need this. Next thing I got were samples. It's really funny because my sister was actually the one who told me about these samples and how I can add it through the app. So my sister told me about these samples. She's like a very much big like Sephora expert, I feel. And I didn't even know you can get all these samples and like products and sizes. So I got this Estee Lauder. This is the double wear sample. And I'm super excited about this because I really, really want to buy this foundation. I'm trying to step out my comfort zone. I've been saying this for months. I need to get a new foundation. I also got the HD Skin Matte Velvet. This is another brand I've really been wanting to try. This is the Makeup Forever. So I have a couple shades here and I'm really excited to use it. I'm going to let this be maybe a determination of whether I might buy this combo or not and then check this out i got this entire little beauty insider this was for the chinese new year 
for free for free i mean i can't even begin to say how cool this is like i even got some cool products in here like there's just too many products to count i got like the better than sex and then i got like this mini mascara the milk pour perfumes this is the soul this is a serum and i've been wanting to try this brand forever i'm so hesitant i got the shishado i got laneige watermark i think my sister has this the perfumes i got this hydrate and glow green tea seed i don't know what that means but okay it just got a bunch of goodies i wish it's kind of like Sephora. i love you if you look you find i got this bondi boost volume styling cream the tatcha water cream that is it calling me dry are y'all calling me dry you said i got dry skin you're not wrong. The Way Detox Shampoo. I love this stuff. Like, who knew? Also, really fast, from Ulta. My sister got me a bunch of stuff and then I ended up using it. I got the OPI Infinite Shine. This is, I want you to guess, 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 guess. Bubbles and Bath, or Bubble Bath. And this was my birthday gift. This is the Smashbox Photo, Photo Finish Smooth and Blur. That is it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. I know it may seem like, girl, you got a problem. Um, I do. I really felt like this was the time where I just needed to step in. I feel like this happens every year, right? The maturity kicks in. Um, being 23, I think I do feel a lot more changes than I did when I turned 20. And I think with that, it's totally okay to want to kind of spread your rings out. And if you're feeling like you're in a place right now where you need to transition to kind of feel something, by all means do so because it really does make all the difference. Like I have been feeling like poo for a little while or of me realizing that I need to start buying clothes that fit me loving myself there's just a lot of realization right now and i think i really like it because it kind of felt like i was stuck in a problem trying to figure out a solution that now i'm in a position where i have that luxury to express myself i feel very blessed everything that i've got and a huge thank you to all of you a huge thank you to my friends and family that have already made this year so special to me and shout out to these stories that came in clutch that is it for this video i hope that you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button you guys really liked my school my little tips on how to be a perfect student let me know if you would like a part two to that and have a beautiful day i will see you guys real soon bye